Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of circles, specifically how we can find the circumference of circles, and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So we have a typical circle here, and when we're talking about circles there are just a few vocabulary terms that we need to know. So the circumference, think of it kind of like, I'm going to put a little almost equal, it's an approximation sign there. It's kind of like the perimeter. Now we're used to perimeter. We've been calculating perimeter for years now. That's the outside of an object, but that usually deals with polygons, straight sides, and no openings. Circle is not a polygon. It has no openings, but it is not uh, straight-sided at all. It's all curved. So our perimeter, or in this case, we're looking at it with a different term. Our circumference is around. So this is my perimeter. It's going to be the distance around the outside of a circle. So this is my circumference. There are just a few more terms that we will need to look at. There is the center. The center has to be equidistant from all, every single point all around the circle. It's equidistant. And then one of the terms we're going to look at to begin with is a line that goes from side to side and it passes through the center. So it has to be a, go through that central point or that center. And it goes from side to side through that center or that central point. We are going to call that the diameter. And it's kind of one way to remember that is this prefix di can mean two. So it's like it goes through the two parts of the circle from side to side. Now, we know of a constant in circles called pi. It is a Greek letter, and it is an irrational number. That means it is a decimal that goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on. It never stops. And so that is simply a ratio. It's the ratio of C, so we'll call that C for circumference over d for diameter. So it doesn't matter the size of the circle. It does not matter um, where you find it. As long as it is a true circle, not an oval or anything like that, you will find that the uh, ratio of the, that circle's circumference to that circle's diameter is the same. It's approximately, so I'm going to use my approximation signs here, about 3.14 one five dot 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 it goes on forever and ever and ever but we for our purposes we're going to use it about 3.14 so it doesn't matter whether the diameter of a circle is one millimeter or a million miles if you take the circumference over the diameter you're going to find a 3.14 or about that so if we're looking for just a circumference well as you can see this is pretty simple right here we've got three terms pi circumference and diameter and we already know what this pi is, is 3.14. So if I wanted to find just the circumference, well, what could I do? I'm going to take this equation again. And if I want to isolate the circumference, well, I'm going to multiply both sides by my diameter. So those two are going to cancel out. And I'm just going to have this right here. So pi times the diameter is going to equal my circumference. So in this particular instance, maybe they'll, they'll give us a problem. They say the diameter equals, I don't know, 18 inches. Well, if you want to know what the circumference equals, that's pretty simple. You simply plug that 18 inches in. So we've got 3.14 times 18 and that is going to get your circumference, right? If you wanted to estimate it, you can kind of round that, that 3.14 to 3 and say, well, okay, that's going to be about 54, about 54. Obviously, we can pull out the calculator and do the actual thing. The only other term we need to know is this radius right here. It is halfway. It's from the outside to the central point, and so the diameter it equals double the radius. So sometimes if you get just the radius, you double it and then you plug it in.